so today is not a particularly great day. Um, I haven't had like flashbacks and things in a while. And last night, um, I was taking a bubble bath to like unwind and, <laughs> you know, just have myself a good night because I got some like news that was like really stressful and like I've been worrying about like finances and rent and everything with this fucking leave. Um, so I was taking a bubble bath and I was listening to Audio Slave and you know one minute I'm literally making a TikTok talking about like how Chris Cornell in the bath with like candles is such a vibe the next I'm having a flashback where it really felt like like I just instantly just felt that feeling of being out on my balcony that I shared with the abuser during the pandemic um I think it was shortly after he physically assaulted me it's like hard to like <laughs> piece them all back together but I was on the balcony it was night and I was singing you know, I had my headphones in. Like, that was something that I know that I did a lot during the lockdown when we lived together. It was, like, I would just be, like, in my room singing or, like, whatever. Who, who knew then that that was, like, my form of escape? Now I know that that's, like, my release and my, like, self-care. But anyways, um, I was singing on the balcony and the abuser came out and, like, you know, angrily opened the door and, yeah, was, like, yelling at me and mocking me, like... I think he called me crazy, um, for my singing and, and whatever, like, unnecessary, like, you could just come out and be like, hey, like, you're, can you please, like, you're singing really loudly, you don't hear yourself, um, you know, because that's just not how you talk to somebody, that's not how you talk to somebody that's supposed to be your partner, for one, um, you know, and I just remember, like, actually trying to teach, like, actually trying to say that, like, that's, like, you don't have to talk to me like that, you know, and, and the funny thing is, the irony is, he's not somebody who gives a fuck about the neighbors, um, because he would always blast, like, his heavy metal music, and, like, his music just, like, super, super loud at all times, and not give a shit, so that was another, that was just, like, double standard, but anyway, I, I think the stress from the leave, plus, like, the constant anonymous harassment, aggravated harassment, um, I mean, at this point, it should be bumped up to stalking. On TikTok, um, I mean, that's been going on for, like, nine months, ten months now. Like, it'll weigh on anyone, much less somebody with complex PTSD who is in an abusive relationship and who is, you know, who someone is using similar tactics as the previous abuser. Um, but I always said that I would share. I would be honest about my journey. I would be transparent, um, because especially on social media where people, like, only show, like, the rose-colored, rosy side of it, but, like, yeah, today's a low day, and today the PTSD has flared up, but, um, I'm trying to feel through it and release it and cry it out and yell it out and do whatever I need to do so that it's out of me and I can, like, you know, make my breakfast and, and like clean and put my energy, my good energy where it deserves to be put as opposed to how I've been taking on all this shit from this piece of shit that's stalking me anonymously. Um, and like, you know, dealing with that instead of putting the energy on who matters most, which is me. So that's my update.